Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. In geometry, it's helpful to come up with an equation that will describe a circle that's centered at some point, h and k, with a radius r. Well, before we come up with this, let's do a little backtrack. How can I calculate the distance of r from point hk to xy? Well, we said that our distance formula between any two points, a and b, is equal to the square root of the differences of the x's squared plus the differences of the y's squared. So let's apply that to this problem. AB is actually the radius of this problem. That's what we're trying to find. So the radius is equal to the square root. If I subtract my x's, I see that I have x as this point, and my center of my circle is at h. So we're going to say this is x minus h quantity squared. Now let's look at our y's. Our y is y, excuse me, our y2 is y, and I'm going to subtract k because k is the y coordinate of the center of my circle. And I'm going to square that. So for any point on this circle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides of this equation. So that will give us any point above or below that x-axis. Because right now, if we just look at r, we're going to be given half of this circle. Because if you remember from algebra, your vertical line test would fail of a circle. The vertical line test, remember, says if you can draw a vertical line anywhere on your graph and it intersects your function more than once, it's not a function. So we know that a circle is not a function. So we're going to square both sides so that we get the full function. So r squared is equal to x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared. So the equation of a circle with radius r is this equation right here, where h is the x-coordinate of your center and k is your y-coordinate of your center. So you're going to be substituting in for h, k, and for r, and that will give you the equation of your circle. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. Work it. So if we had... No, that's not right. Three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah.